Welcome back East Texas. We're joined now by Pam with the East Texas Crisis Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So as we know, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and I think a lot of people don't realize that, you know, that's not something that's happening some far from here. It's right. prevalent right here in Texas. About how it common is. is it? Well, um, specifically in Smith County, last year the East Texas Crisis Center served 342 survivors. Um, of sexual violence just in Smith County alone. Overall in Texas, about two in five women and one in five men will be sexually assaulted within their lifetimes. And you know, those statistics are scary enough it just come from people that yes. report it. Right. So um, does this happen, a lot of people think it just happens to women, mm -hmm. but that's not the case. No, that is not true. I mean, this happens to women and to men. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves, two in five women and one in five men, those are pretty close numbers. So um, typically women are more likely to come forward and speak up about this and to seek help, but that doesn't mean it's not happening to men. I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people often mm -hmm. are afraid to report it or yes. seek help. Why is that and what do you guys offer to try to help victims come forward? Right. Well, it's always difficult for someone to, number one, admit that this happened because 70% of the time it occurs, it's committed by someone that they know, which with that comes a lot of guilt and shame, maybe blaming themselves that somehow they brought it onto themselves, which is not the case. They're never guilty for their own assault. Um, so I think the first thing is for them just to acknowledge that, that this happened so that they can begin their healing journey and then they can come to us and um, receive free services, whatever they may need. So what free services do you guys offer? Um, we provide shelter if they don't have anywhere safe to go because maybe they're living with their abuser, we have shelter. If they need legal assistance, we can help them with that. We definitely offer free counseling and therapy. Pretty much anything that they might need, they can come to us and we're either going to provide that service or help them locate where they can go to get that service. So what's the first thing you should do or the first few steps you should do if you are assaulted sexually? Right, so if you've been sexually assaulted and it's been recently within the last couple of hours, last few days, the best thing to do is to go to a local emergency room here in Tyler because um, they have the option to receive a free forensic examination to collect evidence whether they report to law enforcement. So adults do not have to report to law enforcement to receive this free examination and that way they can just collect evidence in case they do decide to report it later on. And you guys have an event coming up too. Tell me a little bit about that to raise yes. awareness for. Yes. So our big event at the end of this month um, is a documentary screening. We are going to be hosting a screening at AMC and Tyler for the documentary I Am Evidence. And this is a uh, documentary that exposes the backlog of untested rape kits across the nation, which is occurring even here in Texas. I think Texas has 2,300 untested rape kits. Right, so this is, this is what we're trying to bring awareness to, that this right. is still an issue. Um, and unfortunately, I've had some survivors here locally tell me that they are still waiting months and months after their assault for their kits to be tested. This is the last thing you want right. when you're going through this process. Exactly, so we're really just trying to bring awareness um, to this issue. We'd really love for the public to come and show support for these survivors that are still waiting on answers. Um, so this event is gonna be happening on Monday, April 29th at 6.30 p.m. at AMC and Tyler. All right, thank you, Pam, so much for stopping by. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with more of East Texas.